Good morning, Cindy Island here in Leander, Texas, and I have the most wonderful plant to talk to you about today. This is Pride of Barbados, and it is the best plant for our part of the country. This plant has the most beautiful, showy, exotic flowers, yellow and red, and it blooms its head off from the beginning of May all the way through October. Even in the blazing heat in our limestone stony soil, uh, it can take it. It is a superstar plant of Texas and um, you've got to get this. Uh, let me give you a couple more facts about this fabulous plant. It is going to get about five to eight feet tall and um, you, can, you can trim it back um, a little bit before the blooms start. You don't want to cut off any of these beautiful bloom stalks. There is a dwarf varieties available. If you call your local nurseries, uh, some of your better nurseries, and ask them if they do carry the dwarf variety. And there's also a yellow variety that you can, you can look for. I really like this red and orange one though. Uh, they uh, are perennial, so they will come back every year they do die back in the winter. And so I typically um, will, it, like when it's completely died back, I sometimes I just cut it about halfway down to cut some of those stalks down. And then I wait till spring to see what's coming back up. And then I'll cut off those woody, those woody stems. It just comes back and it grows quickly. And uh, you might be asking, well, where do I put such a big plant like this? I like to put it kind of at the back of my garden and I am going to put be putting in two more. I've got two more big spaces here. You do want to give it plenty of room and um, so I, I think that I will be putting it right back here in this area. So you're going to make sure to plant this in full sun and at least six to eight hours of sun every day. It's going to need good drainage. So when you dig your hole here in the Leander area, uh, we have so much limestone in the ground and you'll just have to keep pulling out, you know, you get your rock bar, you pound the soil and you pull out those rocks until you get a nice big hole, double the size of the root ball. And uh, then what I typically do is fill the hole with water and I wait. And if the the hole drains quickly, then I'm good to go. If the hole is, if the water is just sitting in that hole and nothing's happening, then I try to pound some more with my rock bar until I can get good drainage. So the Texas County Extension Agency is a wealth of information and they have done so much research on our difficult soil. We have uh, alkaline limestone soil, it's also called uh, clay soil and it has we have don't have very good drainage here and this is one of the solutions that they have come up with this is expanded shale and I'm going to show you a picture a handful of it here it is a naturally occurring product in our soil it's haydite never heard of that before I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell you more about it There's, it's so interesting Okay, so it is mined and crushed haydite, which is a natural um, rock found in some area. And what they do is they mine it and they crush it and they put it in kiln fires until it popcorns to about a quarter to an eighth inch of this lightweight product. It is a, it is a, a rock material it is highly porous. It is able to hold 30% more airspace and 35% um, and more moisture than if you didn't have this in the hole. So I put about a handful to a cup in every hole that I dig and it really does increase the drainage and it makes all of these plants here a lot happier having to live in this tough limestoney soil. <laughs> but the Pride of Barbados actually likes limestone, but it does appreciate the good drainage. 
So this beautiful Pride of Barbados is um, a big bee attractor. Um, it, it attracts hummingbirds, butterflies, and I have really enjoyed watching all the nature come out here buzzing around it. And if you want to think about, well, what companion plants should I put next to this beauty? Well, um, it would like, um, like an agave, uh, native yuccas, lantanas, those beautiful grasses. Uh, there's just so many things that it would like to have next to it. So through the growing cycle, you will begin to get these seed pods. <clears throat> they start out green, then they turn red, and then they will become a dried brown hull. You just pick these off and, and inside are a bunch of seeds. And um, I prefer to put them in pots to grow them so that I'm, I actually make sure that I get some. And if you really want to help your plant, you can deadhead and you can get more, more of the flowers if you choose, but you don't have to do that. It's, it's such a prolific bloomer. It's gonna show you these beautiful fronds. They kind of mimic the mimosa tree, but actually they are, they are not a relative of the mimosa. So I love a good deal. And I found this deal in my backyard, free. The birds had enjoyed the seeds from my Pride of Barbados and uh, deposited some seeds back here in the back. And I noticed these, these babies were growing. I ran and I got myself some pots and filled it with potting soil and I popped these out of the ground and in no time they were two feet tall and so I will be putting them in the ground. I'm going to add that up, make more Pride of Barbados gardens all along the back side of my property and they're just going to be beautiful, showy, those beautiful orange and red flowers just fluttering in the breeze and I can't wait to, wait to see that. I will not be planting them for a while. I'll, it's the first part of fall is when I'll put them in the ground. It's just too hot to do that right now. And so it's just gonna be beautiful back here. So I hope you guys will get yourself a Pride of Barbados and put it in or um, maybe find some seeds and start some in pots right now. And then you'll be ready for fall and you can start your own. Driving around my neighborhood and business parks, you will see Pride of Barbados doing wonderfully. Um, so I'm just showing you some pictures here of some of these in the area. Uh, there's, this one looks like one of the dwarf ones. And um, then I went over to another beautiful nursery and this is out front of their nursery. This is the Hill Country Water Gardens Nursery. And they have their um, Pride of Barbados in a raised bed because they wanted this to be right here next to the highway and they knew that the ground was just intolerable for anything here next to the highway. So they, they made a raised bed and they tell me that they fertilize this one um, four times a year. And uh, that's why this Pride of Barbados is the first one in my area that, that blooms and so we're always so jealous when we drive by. So I hope you enjoyed this video on Pride of Barbados. Please like and subscribe for more videos like these. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.